morning, good morning. Come right in, come right in. Make sure and remember to take your folders. Um, you all know the drill by now. Take your folders and have a seat. How are you all doing this morning? All right, great, great, awesome, awesome. I hope you all had breakfast. All right, cool. So settle down, so let's get into the lesson, guys. All right. Mrs. Hughes. Hey, hey Gil, what are you doing in Shimona's? I just passed in the room. Nice, nice, but Gil, mm. look how long I ain't seen you since the Christmas. Wait, it's since the Christmas party I ain't seen you, Gil? Yeah, Gil, I was real sick. What? Oh, you're sick. sick? I thought you, you, you find the people that walk around and no, see you go No, 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 no. I was just really sick, belly pain, headache. Gil, you see Vomiting, diarrhea and all You sure it's not corona? You have Gil? No, Gil. I, I feel there's something that I drink in this... I think it's the eggnog that I drink that Miss Lucy brings. The bring. eggnog that Lucy brings? You didn't drink any? No, Gil. I don't drink them things. I love eggnog, but that makes me sick. No, Gil. I was hospitalized. You sure, Gil? You sure you're the ham? No, it have to be that. I have custom with everything else oh. that they bring. You know, Roger had some eggnog, and he, I really didn't see Roger for a few days now, Gil. Well, it's a call. I'm not because that's strange. But what will I cause that, Gil? I wonder. I wonder. What will I cause that, Gil? What will I cause that? Right, guys. Okay, so thank you. Thank you. You can have a seat. Thank you. All right, so anybody can figure out today's lesson, guys, from our little dramatization, right? Of course, we are continuing with our management practices, right? And we have egg production. Okay, so today we're going to do a little lesson on egg production. And of course, you all get getting to get your hands dirty a little bit, right? Okay, so we are... Moving right along. So let me just see, let me just bring up my thing here. All right. So we're doing egg production, and as you can see from the slide, um, you have a whole set of different types of eggs, different shapes, different colors, right? Fancy, not fancy, the ones you all are accustomed to, right? So at the end of today's lesson, you should be able to differentiate between mechanized and unmechanized egg production, demonstrate the steps involved in collecting, so cleaning, sorting, grading, and packaging layer eggs. Show a little appreciation after we go through all of this, you would appreciate it being done on a small scale as well as it being done on a very large scale. And of course, you all know I like to have worksheets running throughout the entire lesson. So, you all see my little chicken laying the eggs there. So whenever you see that, whether it is a purple heart or a blue heart, you all um, would know that the worksheets are coming, right? So your packages, so open your packages, guys. All right. So in your package, you have your notes. So once again, try your best not to be, you know, um, scrambling down notes and those things um, when you're supposed to be paying attention, right? So you have your notes. You also have, and you all know I like my colors, your language of the lesson. I always tell you constantly, every single topic has its own language. So you have to just learn the language of the lesson, guys. You're supposed to be accustomed to this by now, right? Any word, because I'm teaching you all for a little while now, I kind of try to pull out the words that I think that are very new to you. Or just a little reminder, probably would have heard it just once or twice before. Right? Um, any extra word that you may not know, don't feel sh ashamed. Just ask and you can write it in. Your first worksheet, purple, like you would see the purple heart there. Why do it? The whole point of practicals, you all with me for a while now, for almost two years, so you all should know the whole point of practical sessions um, and you remembering is understanding the why. If you understand why you do something, it would be so easy for you to know that, okay, a step is missing. Um, okay, this is not being done correctly. Once you understand the why, right? So this is, you simply have to just write down the reason for the things that we're doing here. Then of course, um, we have two videos to watch, very short videos, guys. And this is your blue worksheet. And you all know by now, when you're watching a video, with me, you are not just watching it like you're in a movie town. You are going in intentionally, 
you have questions to answer it's not like i pause the video and now you're now thinking oh gosh miss where's that where's that right you're going in intentionally all right and of course you have your checklist which will be on a clipboard um when we reach to that part this is the practical part right um when you all get into your groups right and i'll put you all into your groups um a little later on all right so we're ready for the lesson all right good so now that we understand everything and we are all on the same page let's move on so guys why eggs you know in agricultural science we always ask why anything at all and i always tell you and especially with agricultural science and when we did the slaughtering to not name the chickens why because they are not pets you always do things in agricultural science for money right for financial gain so the first point here i have um interestingly enough that an egg production farm or egg farm makes more money than a broiler farm right and of course that is the case because you it is less labor intensive as you can see there than slaughtering than actually taking care of the chickens um and collecting the eggs is not as um heavy in duty with slaughtering a chicken right and of course it is a cheap protein option for consumers if you can't afford to buy chicken guys they will buy the eggs so that is the whole point of egg production and why they are even being processed and sold that is the point of it all right so just like in slaughtering as you all can remember there are two types of um processes the way things are done um, in agricultural science, you can have it being mechanized with machinery or unmechanized without machinery, right? So, um, because we would have touched on this before, I just highlighted some of the advantages with in relation to egg production, right? So, with egg production, mechanized or with machinery, we have less loss due to breaks and cracks, simply because you all know that robots are a little more sensitive than human beings. So, guys right that is why we have less um loss then we have it being less labor intensive which is a point that i highlighted before and we have high production rate obviously um if it's a mechanized you um set up you have more eggs being produced and you have more eggs being sold less loss more eggs being sold unmechanized of course animal welfare and the two points are actually linked to this um in under management of layer birds, you can remember that you have different housing. One of them being a battery cage system where the chickens are in cloak up in a very small area and you can have diseases spreading throughout that area. Whereas another one which is unmechanized is your backyard, you set up a little nest box, you set up a little pen, you know that kind of thing. So in the unmechanized um, setup, you have animal welfare, you know, you're thinking about them, you can let them go, they could run, take a little exercise, free range chicken, that's a big, you know, word right now, right, organic, right, and disease, um, we will have less outbreaks of diseases, basically, because they, they being aired out, all of those things, right, so, now, we're moving on to, right, so ensure that you have your, your um, video analyzer on hand and we're looking at the first video right so make sure pay attention we're looking at the question guys very simple questions right time of the day for collection um, we also have if machines were used if humans were, were, were present and if the chickens were present in and for you to identify at the end of it the type of egg production so let's look at the video
all right so that's the first video and uh, what did you all think about that first video it was interesting right most people don't know that that is how egg production is done in an industrialized setting right so we're moving on to the second video because we, I don't want to discuss the video too much and give you all some of the answers to the worksheet but answer some of the questions because you could answer some of them for video one and now we're moving on to video two guys so pay attention and there's a huge difference right hey everyone it's uh, Blaine with seven sons it's uh, October 1st and a couple weeks ago I uh, shot a video of how we move our uh, lane hens a thousand lane hens in this a portable um, hoop house behind me and uh, today I'm gonna go inside and show you how we gather the eggs every day all right so here we are inside the hoop house as you can see there's roll-out nesters on each side of the walls and then two rows down, going down the middle so there's enough plenty of uh, laying space to accommodate the thousand hens that are part of this setup here and this is Bruce Bruce manages this flock of hens it's his responsibility to take care of them and gather the eggs every day so Bruce how many eggs do you usually get from these hens 850 to 900 a day. 850 to 900 eggs. So each one of these nesters will accommodate um, 40, well, 30 to 40 hens throughout the day. And the hens will lay most of their eggs between the morning hours and uh, one or two in the afternoon. So what's great about these nesters is they have a nice cushion in here that so when the eggs are laid they don't break or crack and it also creates a nice um, nice place for the hens to want to lay their eggs and um, with this rollout design the eggs really stay nice and clean right after they're laid and we don't have to come out uh, you know two or three times a day to gather the eggs we just um, since they gather all here in the front um, we can just gather them once a day so once once the eggs are all gathered, uh, we come back. Um, we come come back around three or four in the afternoon to gather all the eggs. Once they're out of here, we close up the nesters, and we leave this closed overnight. That keeps uh, the hens from getting inside and uh, making a mess of their nesters overnight. So let's just go through quickly our video analyzer. And for the first one, can somebody give me the answer for video one and video two? All right, so yes, that's correct. Very good. Number two, can you give me the answer, Shalina, for video one and video two? I find it a little quiet. All right. Good, very good. Yeah, it's easy peasy because the answers are right there, guys, right? It's just for you to choose it and select it, right? You all are so intelligent. I'm so proud to be a teacher. Number three, well, this one is very easy. Were the chickens present in the nesting box when collecting? Um, and yes, okay. All right, awesome. Yes, yes, okay, awesome. All right, and can we identify video one was what type of Egg production, mechanized, and video two was unmechanized. You can see the freeness, right? Just that stuff in your backyard, right? The fellow waking up in the morning and doing his thing, right? All right, so let's move on. So let's get cracking, guys. Okay, so it's the practical part. So we have collecting the eggs, the first step. So some of the things you would have seen in the video would remind you of the things we would have done with managing housing, feeding, uh, taking care of the layer birds or even the broiler birds, right? But I specifically wanted to highlight the egg production part of it and you also saw the collecting part of it, right? Um, where they were collecting the eggs, the chickens weren't present because they didn't want to be fighting up with chickens and those things, right? All right, so let's get cracking. The steps to collecting the chickens. How do, how do we collect it? 
I am trying to make it easy for you to remember you apply the crack method, right? Yes, I'm going to use a lot of egg puns today, guys, right? So bear with me. You're supposed to be excited about that. <laughs> All right. Okay, so you have to collect it. See, carefully, guys. Obviously, we all know how eggs are fragile. We did the anatomy of the egg before. Very fragile, right? It's very easy to break the, the, um, the shell. You remove, when you're collecting, you remove both the intact and the broken ones, please. You don't want um, any type of bacteria or anything festering inside of the nest box. And of course, this process is the unmechanized process because we don't have machinery, guys. The school doesn't have any money to be doing no mechanized egg production. So we have to do the unmechanized, right? I will show you all the skills for unmechanized, right? So you're collecting both the intact and the broken eggs. Um, you avoid stacking. In the video, you all will notice that the guy was using a plastic crate and he, it, he didn't have a lot of stacks, right? It's, it's very easy for him to carry. So it, no more than five, please. And you all notice that my chicken laying eggs there. So you have to be using your worksheet, your purple one. Why do it, right? So you're listening to what I'm saying now, right? The why behind everything. So avoid stacking, and it's simply because you don't want to break the shell. Okay? Um, you're collecting the cool of the of the day, whether it's AM or PM time. Some chickens lay eggs in the morning. We all know that chickens lay eggs within 24 hour periods. So therefore, some of them will lay eggs in the morning, some of them will lay eggs in the evening time. And of course, you keep it at a very cool temperature below 15 degrees Celsius. Alright? So any questions? No, this was very clear, right? I tried to make it very simple. Okay, so now you are going to answer the questions on why do it sheet. Um, of course, the first one was why are eggs processed and sold? We know that for money, guys, for profit, always, always, always the answer, guys, right? And two, um, outline the reason for each one of them. For this first one, you have the steps there in front of you. So now you're telling me why, in your own words, why do we collect the eggs? Why are we collecting it? Right? So I'm giving you 30 seconds, guys. No more than that. 30 seconds is actually too much. Right? All right. Great. So we are going to actually collect eggs now, guys. So I have an activity. We need to get up, stretch our legs. Right? So when you're collecting, very important point because you all would have seen um, the guy use a plastic container. When you are collecting, you have to ensure that it is not um, rusting. Because some people have the little nice plast um, wire basket, as you can see there, a little fancy basket. Make sure it's not rusting because the egg shell could actually get poked from any rust or anything sticking out of the container itself, right? Um, I prefer plastic because it's nice and smooth, right? And you see my pink basket. Right, and um, of course, you're taking it up, you're put, placing it gently, very carefully. Everything is with care, people avoid stacking. Right, so let's go. So, I've hidden eggs in the classroom, guys. So, you now have to mimic as if you are going to be collecting in your own farm, in your own farm, right? Not somebody else's farm, you can for yourself, right? Um, and I am going to make sure I have a checklist, just as you have a checklist, I have a checklist, and I'm going to make sure that you are. Paying attention to the crack method. So let's go. Miss, are you yes. finding any eggs? Yes, look properly. You all have it. Watch your hand to what? Remember, I'm paying attention to see if you are applying the crack method. Okay. Ah, nice. Gently. Nice. Okay, so that was an awesome activity, guys. You all did excellent. I was really pleased to see that you all were following the um, crack method. Right, so let's move on now. So first we collect, now we're moving on to cleaning. Quickly. So for cleaning, guys, we have a dry and a wet me method. Right, so we will go through this process. It really doesn't. You all know how I do things with these steps. You have to do it together with me, right? So we will go through this process together. However, the wet method is you actually have to wash it, right? And pay attention so you're not leaving it in the water for too long. Remember, like when we did the anatomy of the egg, um, the, the shell is very porous. You don't want bacteria to go in. So therefore, the water has to be 
uh, a specific temperature and clean sanitized water, right? So you wash your sanitize your rinse and obviously changing the water constantly and it has to be running water as well. Making sure the pH is perfect for no growth of microorganisms, especially salmonella, right? And then we have to dry the egg immediately to ensure that no film is left on it, no moisture film, so that microorganisms will, f will foster. Right? So we'll come back to, the, to the, the, the dry steps. We are doing to wash or not to wash. Right? How do we know whether to wash or not? If you pay attention to this slide here, you will notice that it has a lot of feces, heavy dirt on it, if some eggs broke in the, in the nest, it means that the yolk and those things coming out it, right? So you definitely have to wash the egg. Not to wash. Those eggs are not looking too bad, you know, you, you, right? We're doing a little, it falls into the dry category. You just take a damp um, paper towel, you, you clean it up, and you, you um, move it along, right? So no feces or any type of heavy debris matter in it. The reason why this is such a, a controversial topic is because eggs in itself, it actually has a natural protective film over the egg. So you don't want to wash that out. So a lot of companies, they try not to wash eggs. If the eggs are that dirty, they actually um, either use it for their personal use or they donate it to somewhere. They don't use it for commercial use at all, right? So let's go back to our cleaning steps. So guys, come. Come, let me show you all. And we have some exciting eggs here. All right, clean gloves, clean gloves. All right, so the equipment we need will be eggs, bowls, water, paper towel, and your eyes, of course, all right? So we have here, and I know some of you have never seen it, quail eggs, guys, Japanese quail eggs, all right? And these are very dirty. We have the normal eggs from the grocery, all right? And then, of course, I got some, what you all call what? Common fowl? What you all call yard fowl? Yes, <laughs> yes. So, right? So, these are, you all could see that it would fall into the dry category. So, we need to kind of clean them up, make them look presentable. Right? All right, great. So, you're heading to your cleaning station with your eggs and you are following these steps um, along with me, right? All right, guys, so the first step says, place clean water into the bowl. Now, this step is already done for you because of the sanitizer, which is the second step, right? I didn't want you all touching bleach, especially with your school uniform, right? So it was already measured out, but guys, it is simply bleach. However, the amount you use is very important, right? So the second step says, place 100 milliliters of sanitizer or the chlorine, right? into the bowl of water. Now this was already done for you when I mixed it and I, play, I put it into the, um, the bowls. I poured it out in the, into the bowls. Now you have a roll of, toilet, of um, paper towels in front of you. So and the, the reason it's a roll and not a cloth is because a cloth will fester microorganisms. So we're using the paper towels. You're dampening it into the bowl of water. So you all do it. Go ahead and do it with me. And just damp. Right, you all have the damp paper towel. Okay, great. So let me see it. Awesome. Okay, that looks good. Okay, no, yours looking a little too wet. All right, the next step gently wipe egg with clean damp paper towel. Right, so I'm going to use a quail egg because I know how dirty they are, all right, a lot of feces all over it, gently wiping guys, all right, especially for you fellas, all right, good, and then you throw this away, all right, so into the bed, all right, Right, and the reason that you're throwing away the paper towel, guys, um, is because you, you want to remove the microorganisms, right? Then you use a dry paper towel and you dry the egg and you place it into a clean bowl, right? Now this water has to always be changed, kept at the proper temperature, 
and um, the sanitizer has to always be reapplied as well every time you change the water. Okay. Right. So that was awesome. So let's continue quickly. So now that you have your clean eggs, we need to sort them. Now you all kind of did this already, right? Sorting eggs means that you're looking for any cracks and some of the cracks cannot be seen. Some of them could be seen with your eyes, you know, you kind of overlook it, you didn't realize it, you, while you're cleaning it, you, you um, squeeze it too hard and it gets a crack. However, some of the cracks cannot be seen, they're hairline cracks. You use the light source, candling, which we did two classes ago, candling, right? And you're using candling to ensure that the eggs are table eggs, make sure they're not fertile, they're not eating no little babies, make sure that they don't have hairline cracks, and you're making sure that they don't have obvious cracks that would have probably happened during cleaning, right? And of course, the reason for this is to extend the shelf life. Once the egg doesn't have a crack, it would stay longer on the shelf, right? Um, so let's get to doing that. There's a light source by each person's um, table, so candle your eggs, please. And because you all never candled quail eggs before, right? It's kind of difficult, but you're seeing that it's green. And you can still see if there are any spots in it. Are we seeing hairline cracks? Are you all seeing hairline cracks there? Which obviously you would not have seen normally. Alright, so we're continuing after sorting. We have grading. And of course we're moving much faster now because there's not a lot of processes. You grade for um, to be able to price them at different prices. That's it basically, right? Eggs have different sizes, so you grade according to weight and size. And of course, in the, in the industry, you have those big machines. However, we will be using an egg grader, my little chicken at the bottom there. And these are the categories. You have large, medium, small, extra large eggs. When you go into the grocery, you'll actually see extra large eggs, right? And of course, the, the larger the egg, the higher the price, right? So let's get to grading, guys. So, how we are going to grade is that we are using an egg grader, right? So the egg grader is going to basically just put the egg on this little holder here and it tells you what size the egg is. It literally tells you that. If you can see it, medium, large, small, extra large, right? So it's not no rocket science and in the, in the machines, they actually have holes to tell you and weight. So based on the weight and the, and the size of the eggs, the eggs will just fall into the category one time, right? So, when you're grading, the steps are on there, very simple steps. Make sure it's on a flat surface, guys, so that it gives you a proper reading. You simply place the egg. Onto the holder. Alright, so carefully place the egg on the holder. Step number two, it tells you, and this one is actually in between. Right, so it would fall into the medium category, guys, because it's more to the medium, right? And of course, you have to stoop down eye level to read it off. And that's it. When you see medium, you place it into your label bowl or your color-coded bowl that this is medium, this is small, this is large. That's it, guys. So let's grade, grade in time. So I'm going to repeat these steps again now that you are doing it with me. So you have your egg grader on your thing, so let's go. So now we're moving on to after we collect, clean, sort, grade, we are finally packing the eggs. So packaging. Packaging is designed for just two things basically. To protect the product and to attract the customers, right? And um, one more thing to relay information. Expiration dates, right? So the label will have that as well on the packaging. So three things basically, right? So to protect the product, extending the shelf life, attract the customers, relaying important information, expiration date, best buy dates, right? Um, then we have the different types. We have the plastic that you're accustomed to. We have paper, styrofoam. You all probably would have seen that before, right? And the steps, you literally take it from your container, whether small, medium, or large, place it into your container, and you close it, right? Your preferred container. Plastic is preferred for transportation, right? For shop tubs or the shop. Right, so we're just taking it, placing it in. Alright guys, 
so I hope you all are excited and excited because we came to the end of the lesson, right? So, um, any questions? Thank you so much for your time, for spending this time with me, you learning, we all learning about egg production, unmechanized, no machines, right? I remember we were thinking about and writing down why we do things, okay? So right before you go, I just want to ask you, right? So you're exiting, um, activity right is for you to answer me why do we collect so i'm asking you for collecting cleaning sorting grading packaging right so i'm going to ask each person okay so you all know my question ball now this time we're not going to use it for questions um on the, the ball we're just going to answer the question i am asking you right so sherry first question why do we even do egg production in the first place Alright guys, so it was an awesome session. You all answered my why questions properly, right? I know we had a little fun time there, people throwing to each other. I just want to um, say that you need to be safe. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. Have a great lunch, guys. Um, break actually is break time. Have a great break and I will see you all next session. Next session, we are actually going to be continuing with, um, with egg production, with layering, right? Okay. So have a good session guys, bye.